FPI gives you a 71% chance to win. I think it opened at nine and a half. It's currently sitting at seven and a half over under at 60. Yeah. Um, seven and a half feels right. I think it's some way it probably falls in the seven to 10 range. You win by a touchdown or 10. Maybe I just don't, I don't think you get two tutties and let, maybe it's a weird game. Maybe we put it together. Defense is running offense is iron things out and you come out and you, you blow them out 42 to 17 or something. But it feels like it's probably going to be one of those 24, 10 or 21, 13, 21, seven type of things to me. Yeah. But I, we originally did this. I was like, Oh, I could totally see this taking the over. It's just, you know, UTSA is a team that likes to play fast. They run a lot of plays. They're very similar to USF. They're constantly just moving, moving, moving. I think in the last game, they had like 40 rushing attempts, 50 pass attempts, like 90 plays is absurd, um, which that may be sit- more of just how that game went more than uh, it was an average for them. I think they're probably closer to the 70 to 80 play per game, which is still a lot yeah. of plays. Yeah. Um, so I'm interested to know if – how should I word that? I do think that it's going to be – you know, I'm going to have a change of heart here. I think they're going to be under the 60 points because you're kind of convincing me that it is going to be a, a, a 38 – you know, Memphis 35 or 38 to UTSA 20, 21. I don't know. They're, they're the putting situation. up points. Arguably, Owen McCowan, who – TJ came in saying was the scrub of all scrubs is having a better year than Seth, to be honest. He has more passing. Well, he plays yards. in a different offense. He has a Just thousand saying. more, a hundred more attempts too, I bet. Uh, I you're going to say it. A hundred yeah, more attempts? I don't up. think he has that. It, he has, he has three fewer passing attempts. He has eight no, 12 fewer completions. He has 10 more passing yards. He has four more touchdowns, and they have the same amount of interceptions. Hmm. I would have assumed they passed it more. Nope. Seth's got 305, and McGowan's got 302. Interesting. I'm going to fact check you on that, of course. But go look at it. No, I, I, it's just interesting to me. I, uh, I'm i very curious to know how that's going to go. I guess they've had another guy pass for him. Eddie Lee Marburger. Good Lord, yeah, what a not. name. Eddie Lee? Your name is Eddie is Lee? A good name. No, it's his first name. That's not a good name. Eddie Lee Marburger. You don't that's like that one. first name? You think Eddie he goes by Lee. Eddie Lee? Or just oh, Eddie? For sure. No, Eddie Lee. I think if your name's Eddie Lee, you got to go by Eddie Lee. Um, I don't know. He is having, I guess, a better game, a better year, whatever. He, uh, they give up some sacks. I tell you what, 23 sacks. Yeah. They've been that sacked. That they do. Already. And their defense is pretty pretty bad i'm not gonna lie and i don't know if that is because you know, they played texas and i think texas hung like 60 on them and that's obviously going to skew some numbers but yeah that's tough um you know it, it's hard to get a, a firm understanding of exactly how they are defensively until you look at the fact that they just gave up a million points to tulsa in the second so all they clearly the they clearly have something going wrong there um yeah. not even just that right i mean they allowed uh Rice only rushed for 42 yards, but they gave him 347 passing. Um, you know, it's interesting. I can't tell if teams are choosing to not run against them or if they're tough against the run because the rushing yards allowed, Kennesaw State 51, Texas State 195, uh, Texas 187, uh, Houston yeah. Christian, which has changed cool. its name, uh, 50 yards. ECU 47, Rice 42, FAU 163 against Tulsa. I'm going to let you know right now, Memphis is going to try to put up 200 rushing yards. Yeah, on we, and we should. I mean, the two teams and that you named will. are the I only two decent teams that they've played the entire season. So, 
Uh, I think Mario extends his 100-yard streak. I think he gets a 600-yard rushing game. I think, TJ, I think we get uh, I think we get Gregory DeRozier back this week, to be honest with you. I don't That'd think in a, in a big role, but they try to work him back in a little bit. Um, I think the Tigs win this one fairly comfortably. I don't want to say like it's just a total blowout, but I want to – I want to say it's one of those where it never really feels like it's in question. It may be close a little bit, maybe a little bit like that South Florida game where like just kind of stuck a little close, but it was never really in question. Um, give me your score prediction. I just saw the sack that you're referring to where the guy. It's absurd. It is on. Uh, no, yeah, you're right. It is Trent Holler. That Hello, is impressive. Hollywood. He just was, got those big bear mitts on him, dude. You aren't going anywhere. I mean, to be able to go wow. around Trent Holler and not Sachset, a small man, by the way, Trent Holler. Right. I mean, it was just it was impressive, and simultaneously one of the most frustrating plays I've ever watched. Um, I think Memphis does win this. I just don't think UTSA's very good of a team. Obviously that shows in their three to five record. Um, granted they have, they've played some, some decent teams, I think, um, it, it, you know, decent in the sense that they have played Texas and they have played Texas state. Um, Rice is okay at best. FAU is not good, whatever. Three and five sounds right. I think Memphis does win this. And I do, I'll stick to that score. I, I think it's going to be a, a Memphis you know, 35 or I don't want to count on a field goal anymore. And my no game's kidding. Up. Speaking of uh, which, Memphis how 35 did... UTSA 21, something like that. That's what I, I was going to say. Under 31 20 or 30 21, something like that. Um, you mentioned field goals. I, Legitimately, don't know how Vandenberg missed that first field goal. It looked good from our seats. So what? I never. I haven't watched a replay. What happened? It went too high. I think is what it was. How do? What do you mean too high? Is it too high? What do you mean too high? You ever seen Major League? You can kick a field goal too high. No, I was quite in the movie Major League, man. Um, I mean, I guess you we'll could, have to go right? back and look if at that because honestly, from where we're sitting, it did not look like he missed it right or left. It looked like it was he went straight to the middle. It was yeah, it was very high, but I think I it's know. a situation. I, I joked about too high, but I think it's a situation where um, you'll kick it and it just starts to kind of float, and from the angle that we're at, you can't really tell. But at that Tell that it it's actually curves out, crossing yeah. over. Yeah, it's actually crossing over the plane there, but yeah. Maybe that's what um, happened. I need to find a replay of it, though. I forgot about that. I was, I was actually like, just trying to find it right now on the replay. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm going to go like 30-21 or something weird. Um, yeah, we're in the same area. Feels like, I think you're at the under. I don't know. I mean, Hopefully, maybe it's not. Maybe it's 42-17 or something like that. You can come out and get one, put one together, and get a good, comfortable Here's the thing. If- type of blowout win. If we say it's going to be a, a 56 to 24, it's going to be a, a 7 to 21 type of game. So, yeah. Please don't. You got to stop with the lower score first. That's not how we do scores in this place. I was just naming numbers at this point. 